The water is a chilly 46 degrees Fahrenheit, but the visibility is excellent as we start our dive. After being heavily called by bounty hunters down to a fraction of their original population, the stellars of the eastern North Pacific were protected in the 1970s. Since then, stellar numbers have really bounced back in the Salish Sea, but they're still under threat from toxic pollution in their food chain, the risk of oil spills, loss of prey species, and entanglements. Marine regulations mean we're not allowed to approach them without the special permits we use for research and disentanglement missions. Since on this expedition we're just here to observe, we'll have to let the sea lions come to us. It's all up to them. Several minutes into the dive and still no sign of sea lions, but the waters around Norris rocks are filled with life. Sea stars and urchins cling to the rocks, along with several different kinds of colorful anemones. We find a Puget Sound king crab, one of our favorite species. Then we catch sight of this spiky little fellow, a heart crab. The painted greenling is a bold little fish that poses for the camera. However, he's about the only fish we see, which is very strange for such rich waters where you expect to see plenty of larger fish. Finally, there's a copper rockfish. These guys are usually very curious about divers and follow us around. But this one's wedged in a narrow crack and seems abnormally shy. We poke around some more. Mystery solved. The deep crevices in the reef are chock full of copper quillback and tiger rockfish, along with lingcod. These are smart fish. They know all about the grizzlies of the sea. The stellars hauled out just a couple of hundred yards away are mainly here for the herring. But these nervous fish are all on the sea lion's regular menu. They'll play it safe until the stellars move on in the spring. A few minutes later, we suddenly have the feeling we're being watched.